Welcome to our installation guide for the Mueller Roll-Up Door. Mueller Roll-Up Doors are an excellent choice for almost any building. The doors literally roll up above the header of the door frame. This keeps the area inside the building clean and uncluttered and gives you more usable space inside. Mueller Roll-Up Doors are unique in several ways. First, they're available in a palette of colors. Also, most components are clearly marked so that you can easily and quickly tell which side of the door the part is for and which end of the part should be installed against the wall. In addition, Mueller roll-up doors have a tension brake on one end that is easily adjusted with an open-end wrench or a ratchet. This makes it easy for you to adjust your Mueller door so it operates exactly as you wish. For safety, we also provide special hole plugs for the door guides. safety considerations. Before proceeding, it is recommended you print out the appropriate installation manual found at www.muellerinc.com downloads. It is of utmost importance you follow all instructions carefully and hang your door in the order of the steps detailed in both the installation guide and the steps in this video. Although the video is divided into segments for easy reference should you wish to quickly find a section to review, the steps must be followed in order without fail. The Mueller roll-up door is heavy and has springs under tension and can cause serious and even fatal injuries if proper safety procedures aren't followed. Make safety your first priority for the benefit of yourself and anyone helping you install the door. It is suggested that there be at least two workers in this process. If there is any concern about the installation process, Mueller recommends consulting a professional door installer. Before you order, make sure there is adequate room for the roll-up door to be mounted and operate. For width, measure from inside jam to inside jam. Note, jam leg size should be three and a half inches minimum. For height, measure from the floor to the bottom of the door header. For a chart of required clearances, refer to the installation manual found on the Mueller website. Step 1. Preparations. The first consideration in hanging your roll-up door is a don't. Don't cut the bands or wrapping on any part of the door until instructed to do so. Also, make sure you have the tools necessary to complete the job. Those tools are Again, check your clearances according to the measurements of the door you're installing. These are given in the written instructions found on the Mueller website. You will be concerned with three areas for clearance. The height of the opening that you bought the door for, the vertical headroom, and the horizontal headroom. Step 2. Unpacking the crate. First, orient the door with the curtain going over the top with the bottom rail facing into the building. On receipt of your Mueller door, open it carefully and verify you have received all component parts. The door is banded and must be left in that condition until the instructions tell you otherwise. The guides arrive attached to the bottom of the crate. 
The crate will also house a box containing a parts list and the various parts needed to hang your door. Before starting, check to make sure you have all parts. If you are missing any parts, contact your sales representative or call us at 877-2-MUELLER. Step 3. Beginning Door Installation Before you begin, take time to watch the video series and review the installation manual. Make sure all jams are plumb so your door hangs evenly and that the header and floor are level. If the door will be installed on steel jams, mounting plates for the door mounting brackets are required and should be bolted to the jams prior to installation. The top of the mounting plate should be located approximately 10 inches above the top of the door opening. The inside edge of the mounting plate should be one inch inside of the three and a half inch door jam. This is an important step in your door installation. Mounting plates must be level to each other and must be mounted using only the hardware provided. Check them with either a laser or water level. Don't go by the plate's relationship to the door header or floor, which may not be level. Always use a water or laser level. Step 4. Mounting Brackets and Guides As you begin installation, keep in mind that all component markings assume that you are on the inside of the building looking out. Your next step is to install the mounting brackets and guides. They must be attached using the fasteners included in your parts box that came with the door. Install a fastener at the top and bottom hole of the jam. Later, once the curtain is installed, adjust the guides and install fasteners in each hole. Attach the mounting brackets to the slotted holes in the mounting plates with the hardware provided. The mounting brackets are marked left and right for easy identification. Next, install the door guides. The opening edge of the guide should be inset a slight amount, about one eighth of an inch from the door jam opening on each side, so you don't hit the guides when entering the door opening. Both guides must be plumb. If you are installing a chain hoist drive or an electric door opener, refer to those instructions at this point. Step 5. Door Installation Remember, do not cut the bands or wrapping on the door until time to do so. Also, make sure the door is facing the proper direction before installing the tension assembly. The recommended installation procedure places the tension end of the door on the right side if you are on the inside looking out. Using the dual tensioner assembly spring roll pin located in the knurled wheel, rotate upward in the direction that clears the axle. Slide the dual tensioner assembly over the axle and tensioning hub with the arrow pointing toward the wall. Release the spring roll pin. On the non-tension end of the door, Slide the axle support over the axle with the arrow pointing toward the wall. With the door still banded, orient the bottom bar to where it is facing back into the building. Using a forklift that has padded forks to avoid denting or damaging the door curtain, lift the door into place and leave it on the forklift until the door is securely fastened in the mounting brackets. Position the door on the brackets with dual tensioner and tension axle support resting safely on top of the mounting bracket flange. If a chain hoist or electric opener is used, the mounting bracket may need to be adjusted on the mounting plate to allow enough room for the hoist or door opener. The door should be positioned as close as possible to the door header and still be able to rotate the door so that the bottom bar will clear the door header. Each end of the door should be the same distance from the header, and the curtain must be centered in the opening. Loosely attach the dual tensioner assembly to the door mounting bracket flange using the hardware provided. Tighten the red, square-headed set screw on the tensioner bracket. On the non-tensioner end, loosely attach the axle support to the door mounting bracket flange using the hardware provided. Tighten the red square-headed set screw on the support bracket. If you are also installing an electric drive end, do so now using the instructions provided with your opener. If it has a drive chain, do not attach it until the door spring tension has been adjusted, which is the last step. Position the door with it still wrapped and banded. 
Remember, do not cut the bands until instructed to do so. Push the door assembly as close as possible toward the header, but so it can still rotate freely. Each end of the door should be the same distance from the header, and the curtain must be centered in the door opening. Make sure the mounting brackets are square once the door has been mounted. Once the door is properly aligned, tighten the bolts to the mounting bracket flange. Once the door is in place, and if space permits, you need to set the spring initial tension. Do not cut the bands yet, but rotate the door one and a half revolutions in the direction that would send the bottom bar down through the guides. If your building design does not allow for door rotation, lower the door curtain into the guides and follow the instructions in step six to set the door tension. Remember, the door is under extreme tension, so follow these steps carefully. While holding the door, preferably at the bottom bar, cut the tape, plastic wrap, and bands that hold the door in a coil. Be very careful at this point. The door is under spring tension and can be very dangerous if not handled properly. Direct the bottom bar down into the entry of the guides and bring the door curtain all the way to the ground. Secure the door in the closed position with the slide locks on the bottom bar. Slide the head stop from outside to inside. Secure each head stop with the hardware provided. Once both head stops are securely installed, fold the tab at the top of each guide over each head stop to prevent any upward movement. Once the initial spring tension is set and the curtain is in the guide, the door should be able to be pushed closer to the header, reducing the angle of entry into the guides. Then, unlock the slide locks on the bottom bar and check the door for proper operation by lowering and raising the door. Step 6. Adjusting the tension. Adjust the spring tension with the door in the fully open position, with the bottom bar resting against the head stops. A very important safety consideration is to remember that a loss of spring tension will cause the door curtain to drop very quickly. Do not let anyone stand under the curtain. At the dual tensioner end, place an appropriate tool in the tensioning hub and hold it firmly. Have another person loosen the square, red-headed set screws on the dual tensioner and support bracket. The tension should be adjusted if the door is either too hard to open and closes too fast, or if the door goes up too fast and fails to close completely. If the door is hard to open, you want to increase the spring tension. If the door goes up too fast, you want to decrease the spring tension. The procedures are as follows. To increase the spring tension, pull down on your tool one quarter turn. The dual tensioner will automatically grip the axle and help hold the new setting. Tighten all square red-headed screws in the dual tensioner and axle support bracket at both ends of the door. To decrease spring tension, momentarily pull down on your tool and then lift the spring roll pin on the dual tensioner's knurled wheel. Gently let up on your tool, allowing the axle to rotate one quarter turn to reduce the tension. While holding the new tension, release the dual tensioner spring roll pin. The dual tensioner will grip the axle and help hold the new setting. Tighten all square red-headed screws in the dual tensioner and axle support bracket at both ends of the door. Verify that all red-headed set screws are tightened prior to checking the door operation. Lastly, make sure all fasteners are in place and install plastic plugs in both door guides. Congratulations! You've installed your Mueller roll-up door. Your new door will give you outstanding service and security for many years to come. If the springs need to be adjusted in the future, simply follow the steps as outlined in this video or in the written installation instructions found on the Mueller website. You should keep the instructions as long as you have your door. Thank you for buying a high-quality product made by Mueller.